live from my mother's basement, no bullshit. Just Johnny. Hooray. Guys, I don't know if you realize this or not, but I keep up with the news and rumors websites just as much as anybody else. The only thing is, I don't buy into them. I ask questions, I go do research, or I just think in the back of my head, is this even fucking likely? Today isn't about bitching about what people think in terms of who's going where. But today is bitching, nonetheless. Not only because bitching is what gets you views on this stupid-ass thing called YouTube, but because this has a lot of merit to it. And I hope that I can keep this short and very much to the point. I just watched a little interview with Kurt Angle about how TNA had to go on the road to be competitive. Ooh, that was a good burp. Competitive and to grow their business, to grow their fan base, to go city to city. TNA eventually wants to go around the world. This is a fantastic fucking idea, getting the, a worldwide audience involved in your product. Now, there are still people, for whatever reason, that continue to post on these things, that TNA is a go-nowhere, piece-of-shit backwoods, you know, third-rate, fourth-rate, piece-of-shit program, you know, it's, it's got all the old fossils, it's dried up, they have no talent, whatever. And to these people, I would say, are you happy with professional wrestling right now? And if you are, were you alive and at an age where you could appreciate what we went through back in the late 90s? Do you remember the Attitude Era at all? Do you remember how in your face, how unmissable it was that, you know, if, if you missed even one fucking show that you just... People in your school, people at your workplace, nobody forgave you. They were like, oh, you fucking amateur, what did you have better to do last night than watch wrestling? It was part of the American culture back then, and we've essentially stomped it out. Now, I won't go on a tirade about how fucking we've also got rid of, you know, One Nation Under God and the Pledge of Allegiance and all that other stuff, but in a time, we're getting to be 20 years ago, um... It's not all that unheard of that business thrived on competition. You had not only WCW going up against the WWF at the time, but ECW was also in that mix. You know, and ECW was a catalyst for both companies that were mainstream to increase their product to bring other people in from ECW that would eventually be main eventers in, you know, both companies. And, um, if you're one of those people that just hates on TNA because it's, like, the cool thing to do, I have a very rude awakening for you that you're part of the problem in the wrestling community. You're part of this cancer that just holds the product back from what it could be because you're not embracing the idea of, you know, doing anything more than what you're comfortable with with your WWE product. Now, I was thinking about this earlier today while I was taking a big dump, and, uh, you know, in all of the years that Hulk Hogan ruled the WWF back in the golden age there, maybe from, let's say, 85 to, uh, I don't know, fucking know, like, 92, 93, that's like an eight-year span, right? Then, let's see, we'll go with Cena, the whole time that Cena has been ruling the WWF, that's been about seven years of the same old Cena. How many stars did we have back in that era when Hogan was on top? And how many stars that are really fucking stars do we have now? And I don't want to talk about people that have to make a comeback after, you know, essentially ten years of not wrestling, like The Rock. Or maybe it was six years or seven years, whatever it is. I'm talking about guys that are just there on the roster that's fucking packed full of talent. You, you want to say that Randy Orton is a main eventer and a, a face of that company? Okay, I'll give you that one. So him and Cena, you've got two. Is, is Triple H still a full-time wrestler? No. No, he's not. He's worked... He's worked, uh, let me see. Mm, one match. He's going to be doing WrestleMania. 
He did WrestleMania and SummerSlam last year. He worked two matches. He's no better than The Undertaker. And I love me some Undertaker, but guys, he's not full-time either. There are They have to bring these people back year after year because there's nobody else to fill these shoes. If there was competition every week, the WWE would have no choice but to create new stars, not play it safe. You guys know that when Edge had to retire, that that threw a fucking wrench into the works that's still being felt today because nobody's come up to take his place. You want to tell me that Sheamus had a title run and Daniel Bryan got given a go and CM Punk is now one of the top heels in the company? I hate to break it to you guys, but in terms of star power, they can't touch Jake the Snake Roberts, a guy that never held the belt. And I'm not trying to sit here and dump on these young guys. Not at all. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is raise the awareness that if there was competition, that it would be a better product overall. Back like when there was competition, like how the WWF had the NWA and the AWA. Back when how the WWF had WCW and ECW. Just food for thought out there, guys. If you're one of those people that keeps shitting all over TNA for trying, you know, um, you really should knock it off. And you really should try to get behind it. I, I, you know, I'm with you. Aces and eights, you know, it, it kind of dragged out. It's, you know, not the most exciting storyline I've ever seen. But Bully Ray as champion is a very nice, you know, finish to that story. However, wherever it's going to go. And uh, I think that's one of the things that TNA has is respect for the business because of the guys that are in that company and because of the younger talent coming up to put on these matches like Rude and Storm back last year, Bound for Glory. Awesome match. Anybody that doesn't think so probably didn't watch it. I don't know, guys. Leave your thoughts below on what you think. If you want to troll it and hate it and tell me that TNA is going to go nowhere, go ahead. Go ahead, because I know in my heart that it's the truth, that the WWE needs competition. And probably until they have serious competition, I'm not going to be watching it. This has been Johnny, and I'm out of here.